Okay, welcome back. Your patient's waiting for this. Uh, it's our first drum lesson on doing fills. And we're gonna start by showing you some drills. I think the most important thing to get really solid is your timing. You do not wanna be rushing on fills. So we're not gonna show you particular fills or real exciting fills in this first lesson. We're gonna show you a couple of drills to do to develop your timing, develop your skills, develop your speed so that when it's time to play a fill, they can flow from you very naturally. And I, I know a lot of you are gonna want, not wanna do this, but it's gonna be pretty important to get a metronome and make sure your timing stays solid while you're doing this. So we're gonna do some simple exercises where we play quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes with our bass drum. And then we're gonna show you a second set of drills for a little more advanced for those of you who maybe haven't been playing drum set but have been playing snare drum longer. We'll, we'll do quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, six tuplets. And um, probably the only thing I'm leaving out that's a, a, a very useful fill is quarter note triplets, and we'll save that for later. Uh, it's really more of a feel fill, and um, I don't know if, if playing it to a metronome will help you all that much. It's one of those things you want to practice a lot with your band or with other people or against records where they fit. Um, okay, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start at a moderate tempo. Some people find playing it too slow is difficult, other people find playing real fast is difficult. So you want to find something right in the middle that's very comfortable for you. Okay, so hit, this is at 90, and I'm going to be playing my bass drum along with all four, and I want you to do that too. And you can do that when you're doing real fills. You can keep that bass drum keeping that tempo. You won't do it all the time because certain fills are going to use your bass drum, but here we go. Three, four. Okay, that's it. Just need to be able to do that at a variety of tempos and keep it nice and steady. And it, some people find it easier to actually move around the drums, particularly at the slower tempo. So let's do that a little bit too. Two, three. Okay, once you do that, then you can work on working it in with a beat. So um, I'm not going to do all four. The, the point of doing quarter, eight, sixteen is to get your timing at those various things. So I'll just pick different fills to put in at the beat, sometimes eighth notes, sometimes sixteenths, maybe a combination. So here we go. Two. So let's just do our basic simple beat. Two, three, four. After you get that, you probably want to move the tempos up and get a little bit out of your comfort zone. So I'm going to just take this up to let's just, a pretty standard rock beat, right around 120. Four, one, two, three, four. And if that's comfortable, then go up even faster. Let's go up around 160. And I don't know, I don't play too many songs that are any faster than this.
now I'll move on and do the more advanced drill and adding those uh, triplets and adding six tuplets into the mix. So we're going to do quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, six tuplets. And we're not going to do those at 160. We're going to go back to our original tempo, right around 90. all around the drums. those, you can work at moving those in with beats. Let's try this at 110. through most of those fills I went from just around the drums and that's not a requirement but it tends to be the easiest thing to do so you're working your way up so you want to start on your snare if that's easiest and then work your way around your kit in a standard pattern um, and you can try alternate stickings if you want um, if you're if you want to do crossover sticking to get from one drum to the other at this point do whatever makes the movement the easiest I got no friend to beg. 